let's take a look at this is my this is the uh the art book saw that i think before i even open this and take a look i think this is mostly um the illustrations that fujiwara kamui sensei posted on twitter like since the beginning of july he he was illustrating a ton of new things and people saw them and they're like why 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 are there all these new illustrations for Terra Enigma? People were really confused, and I was one of them. <laughs> That's how I got clued into all of this, is because I started seeing his artwork on Twitter. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? Hi, so let's take a look. Oh, the spine even has the name, Terra Enigma. And uh, this is the Japanese title, so Tenshi Sozo, and then that's Ten. So, exhibition. Is that how you read that? Ten? Is that okay? Tenji? No, ten. Whoa! Hi. So, I don't want to show too much, but this is just the front cover. Beluga. Is this supposed to be an R and an L? Beluga. That's what was kind of funny, too, because just, like, on the corner of where the the exhibition was, there was a store that said Beluga. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> Beluga! <laughs> I was gonna take a photo of it, too, and I forgot. Oops. Oh, well. Oh, okay, so there's, like, character illustrations. And then designer notes. Oh. Oh. Don't think I've ever seen this one. Cool. This is an ill yeah. I don't want to show everything. I'm sorry. Please buy it. <laughs> this is an illustration of blue-haired Ark, with all the animals that he comes across and more. Oh, that's kind of cool with the Earth in the background. That's really neat. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So this is like a bunch of like preliminary designs for Ark. He had a ton of different designs. Oh my god. Alright, so there's one where he has like I hate this design. I'm really sorry. I really hate characters with this design. With the goggles on their head? It's either a helmet or some kind of goggles on their head. I really don't like characters with that design. So he designed it that way. One of the, the preliminary designs. He has, like, goggles or a hat or a helmet kind of thing. Oh my god, I'm glad that changed. But still, that became kind of like that headband sort of thing. That's okay. There's one that looks a lot like a Dragon Quest character. Which makes sense, because he did illustrate one of the Dragon Quest mangas, I believe. Interesting. Interesting. Very cool. And then, oh, wow. What was that called? The, the idea that the world is being carried on the back of a giant tortoise. What is that again? There's a name for that. So there's a tortoise and then like a bunch of elephants. And then the world is supported on their backs. Interesting. So that's in here bunch of different characters oh okay so some of this is actually the Genga that were um, on sale so if you weren't able to get the original Genga you can still get it in here <laughs> it won't be the originals but still you'll have everything and this is all color too Wow Yep, yep, yep. All the characters. Oh, even that one, too. Oh. So there's a... Wasn't that new or was that old? Oh, wow. I wonder if I could translate some of this. There are some, like, designer notes in here. Fujiwara sensei, kore wa ano jibun de ego hon yaku shite mo ii no ano kana? 
これを翻訳したいんですもしよかったらわあ、yeah, I'd like to translate some of this あ、oh! interesting oh that's a great yeah so towards the end of the game where uh where you're is that I won't say it because it's kind of spoilers I won't say it um this is really cool scene in the game that's really cool I'm not gonna say anything I'm sorry I know you're upset oh I'm, I'll refrain from saying anything Yeah, damn. Oh, that Genga would have been so awesome.、Uh, but the finished product is even better, though. I don't know. I mean, the whole thing about getting a, an original Genga is just the fact that it's the original. That's the actual illustration that he made. But I don't know. The final product looks even better. Obviously, it should, right? Mm. I think that's why I, I tend to like Fuxi Genga more. Just because that's the final product. I mean, yeah, it's not an original, but. Heck, it looks sweet. <laughs> I love all the little arcs. <laughs> I'll just show you just all the little tiny arcs. They're so cute. <laughs> oh, man. We need like a line stamp. Online? Oh, well, if they ever make a line stamp, I would buy it. All of these, I would totally buy them. Oh my god. Oh, that's an interesting shot. Mmm. -hmm. Of the underworld. Yeah. He was saying that it was really difficult for him to illustrate that main thing just because of the world. It flips over, you know? Kind of like my inception. <laughs> It's not a first, that movie. Inside out world sort of thing. Oh, man, yeah. These are great. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, so if you are sad missing out on some of the Genga, don't be too sad because all of them are in here. And they look amazing. Wow. Oh, Kingbird and the birdie. So, 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 so. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, the Yeti. <laughs> In the onsen with the Yeti. <laughs> onsen to kaiki. What? Kaikitai monda. Kaikitai monda. I don't know what that means. There's a Hydra? What's. No. I think these are pre preliminary monsters. There wasn't a Hydra in the game. What's the name of that dude? He's like the goat guy from hell. <laughs> the goat guy from hell. He's in here. He's got wings. What's his name? I can't think of it. can't think of it. He's in, like, Baphomet? Is that Baphomet? Yeah, sorry, I can't see the chat. Hold on. I'm gonna move it so I can see if anyone is writing. There. So if anyone writes in the chat, I can see it now. Sorry, I couldn't see it before. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh man, there, there's so many like liner notes in here too. It's really hard to read. I think some of these you're not really meant to read. <laughs> They're just his notes. That's amazing. Dear God. Oh, and then some rough Genga. Oh, that's great. Wow. Yeah, that's really cool. You can see kind of like the, the progression from the rough Genga to the final product. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, see, like, I've been collecting animation artwork for over 
probably 25 years, so <laughs> probably as old as this game is. That's how long I've been collecting animation artwork. So the whole thing with Ganga, Dolga, um, all the, the rough sketches and stuff, it's like, I, I know all about that. So this is really amazing. So like having some of the original Ganga from this game 26 years ago, that's insane to me. It's <laughs> so funny. He's fighting with a chicken. <laughs> and the magic, the magic lady. She's like, "What are you doing?" Oh my god. Mm, this illustration over here that conjures up music. I can hear music just playing in my head. Just looking at that. Dun, 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 dun. I am not going to sing it. <clears throat> Lizard Man. I'm not sure what that says. Was that supposed to be digital? I think maybe there's a spelling mistake. Wow. Wow. Yeah, with the lizard men. That's cool. Were there lizards in the game? I totally don't remember. I don't think so. I don't recall any lizard. <laughs> Ark is so darn cute. Yeah. Mujakina. Mujakina kyara nan desu yo. Oh, lime! It's lime! Oh, that's a great shot! Oh my god. Lime. Oh. I lo oh! Is that new? That kind of looks new. Wow. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, it's so cute. I love lime. Oh my god. In the cavern. Hold on. Ah, oh, Dark Gaia's second form. With the wings. Yeah. That, that's a sweet design. I don't remember what that was with the wolves. I guess it was just in the... Yeah, okay. I was just walking around in that creepy forest. Actually, this just came to me. I wrote a really crappy music piece <laughs> for one of my classes in college, and it was supposed to be like in a haunted, dark forest kind of thing. I think my inspiration for that was from Terra Enigma. It was from like something like that. From one of the, the forest stages. I think that's where it came from. I mean, you tend to see that kind of setting a lot in RPGs, but that would fit with the timing because that was when I was in college. It was 2000, 2001. Nene Bale. <laughs> Yeah. It, it never occurred to me. It had to have been an inspiration from Terra Nigma. And this, is this supposed to be Jojo? <laughs> is that a shot with his face? Jojo! It must have been. There's some great shots with Bloody Mary. Oh, uh, that fight. That wasn't the most annoying fight, though. Fight. The most annoying fight that I had was with the, the freaking fish. Ugh! I hated that fight. I was getting mad in that. Because <laughs> he keeps running away. Oh, dear God. Yeah. The scene. <sighs> Such a good scene. Just to imagine that. <laughs> the Great Lakes. That's me. That's where I'm from. Man, 
These are so good. And the mermaids. That was a great sequence too. Oh man, I'm so excited to play more. Oh, and he gives the girl a flower. It's so cute. How old is he? Okay, so no, we were talking about that before. So at the very beginning of the game, he's supposed to be around 13, 14. But then throughout the whole course of the game, he, he ages, right? And there's like a three-year like gap where he's asleep. So by the end of the game, he's around 18 or so. Supposedly. Kawaii. Such a kawaii video. Yeah. I'm stunning. Oh, lime! Lime! Oh, that's cool. Oh! That is. Oh, okay, so that's his reflection. Ah! Interesting. That's an interesting shot right there. I'm not going to say anything more. Make it be mysterious. Yeah. Hmm. Not if Tarila. Not saying anything. Ah! Ah! That's the Genka I got. Yeah, he posted this. On Twitter as well. Dark Gaia. I'll show you later. Dark Gaia's form. That's such a cool shot. Oh, wow. Dark Gaia. So. I don't remember how they translated it in the in the in the game. The English version. So like Dark Gaia. Were they. Did they actually say devil? Like, the devil versus God. So, God and the devil. Because I don't think they use those terminologies in, in the original Japanese. I don't recall them ever saying, like, kami or anything like that. Anything related to God. It's more... It's, it's not that specific. It's, like, it's more like yin and yang. You know, they're two opposites of just a force. It's not not a god. It's not a devil. It's just two opposites. Kind of like your battery. You have a positive and a negative. They're not good or bad. You know? It's really interesting. That's kind of one of the things that I would... I don't know, man. I would I would tend to stay away from any religious thing like that because you can still tell the story without having that kind of connotation. And I think it means more just not, you know, not to have that connection. I don't know. That's cool. Oh, he did color it. I forget. Yeah, this is the illustration that he he put on Twitter for people to color too. So, but that's his color. That's cute. Oh, God. Yeah. Somebody at your door. Hmm. That's really cool. Oh, what's that? A timeline? Oh, wow. What, what, what timeline is this? I'm confused. Is this his timeline? I don't really know what this is. Yeah, I think that's like his work timeline. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder if he did other things that I know. Hmm. I don't think I really recognized anything besides like the the Draken Quest. Draken what? Draken Quest. Oh my god. Dragon Quest. Rotono. <laughs> and that's the end. That's really cool. Highly recommend this. Man. I'm going to have to read some of that. The liner notes. That's really cool. Hi. Okay. So that is 
the art book. 